Now, with congregations getting smaller, many churches are finding new ways to reach out to the public. Des Clark has spent uh, an evening at Newcastle Cathedral at an event aiming to change the image of some of these historic buildings. To some, cathedrals might seem a tad stuffy, synonymous with religious service and a place of prayer. But in a time of dwindling congregations and higher running costs, cathedrals like this one in Newcastle are opening themselves up to some rather unexpected events. Tonight's experience will still feature some of the quiet reflection associated with places of worship, but with a modern twist, as this ancient building hosts its first silent disco. Hugh Joseph is one of the DJs, and I was fascinated to find out how it all works. You will be given uh, the LED silent disco headphones. They have three different channels for the three different DJs on stage. So on uh, the green channel tonight, we have uh, pop and dance. On blue, which I'll be playing tonight, is um, doing 90s bands. On the red channel will be R&B. Do you have a specific playlist for the cathedral? One of the biggest sing-alongs, and I'm going to call it tonight as well, one of the biggest sing-alongs we get at each one is Believe by Sher. Sure. Who would have thought that even song would have potentially been sure? It seems a far cry from the usual hymns you might catch here on a Sunday morning, but the Dean Jane Hedges has given the event her full support. For those that say that this type of activity, music, comedy, discos, would be inappropriate in a cathedral, what would you say to those people? It is sacred, and so the things that we do, we need to make sure that actually they're in line with what our faith is about, that we believe in a loving, creative God, and the sort of things that we do in the cathedral should reflect that. But I think it's actually helping people to understand what we're about. The dance floor will be full this evening. Jane, will I see you on there? I'm afraid you won't. <laughs> Although Jane may not be one of them, there are plenty who are eager to join this rave in the nave, with Cathedral volunteer Chris on hand to welcome the revellers. Welcome to Newcastle Cathedral, have a great time. We pride ourselves on, on, on the proper jolly welcome here. It's going to be a big night for the cathedral. And with dancing being thirsty work, I'm just wondering about the drinks policy. And Chris, obviously for these big events, alcohol has been served. Yes, we have. There's always bars oh that sell alcohol at classical concerts. So why shouldn't we sell alcohol at pop concerts? Among the party goers this evening is local lad, Sean. And obviously being from the area, yes, what does it mean to see this cathedral used? Having such fun and people cheering and loving life it's, right now. It's a great thing. Rather than people walking by and assuming just for religious activities. I think it's great to have them as open experiences, no matter what faith mindset you might have. With the disco in full swing, I couldn't resist hitting the dance floor myself. It has to be as faithless God as a DJ. How perfect! In the middle of a cathedral. This is my church. The atmosphere here is absolutely buzzing. And judging by the reaction, the event has brought a whole new audience to this sacred building. One of the most beautiful cathedrals in the world. And I'm dancing, really. It was amazing. Oh, what a tune! Come on, join the party. Just looked at the, the lighting and the atmosphere around you. It was just brilliant as well. And... You know, you make friends with people. Gemma has been a visitor here previously, but tonight's party is a slightly different experience. We used to come here every year and have a carol service here. And a bit of a culture shock in comparison to that. An event like this just inspires one person to come back. Then, it, as far as I'm concerned, it's a set of success. Think you're strong enough. And as the lights go up, most of us here are just left wanting more. This old cathedral was rocking to that silent disco. Surely that can't be wrong. <laughs> 